Gifted Hands family, it is Elijah here bringing you another lesson. And today we're breaking down an Israel Houghton song, really popular Israel Houghton song, uh, titled In the Name of Jesus. All right, so in the name of Jesus, and we're in the key of C major. So before we jump into the actual chords, the actual harmony, the actual melodies, let's talk about the song form here, okay? So the song form is this. We're starting off with the intro, then we have verse one and verse two. Then we jump into the chorus. After the chorus, we have the intro again. Then we have uh, verse three. Then we do a double chorus. Then we go back to the intro again. Then we have a bridge. We do a bridge four times around, uh, one time instrumental technically, and then three times with the vocals. So that's four in total. Then we got a double chorus again. Then we do the bridge five times and we're out of there, all right? So that is the whole song form. And that leaves us really with just four sections. We really only have an intro, verse, chorus, and bridge. Um, that we have to learn. So even though it's a super long song, this song is like seven minutes, something like that, um, six, seven minutes, a pretty long song. We only have four sections and it just loops those four sections, right? So uh, it's not too bad of a song, not too difficult of a song. So let's dive right into it with the intro section, okay? Not gonna play my scale for C major. If you don't know it, you don't need to be learning this song, all right? You need to be learning your C major scale if you don't know it yet. All right, so let's jump right into the song, starting off with the intro. Uh, the intro goes like this. We start off, um, actually, it's really technically like rhythm guitar in the beginning of the song, but I like playing the chords from the top. So if you want to copy the rhythmic pattern that the guitar is doing, you can do that. I'm just gonna give you the chords, and then you can listen rhythmically, and you can hold the chords out. Um, you can hold them out whole notes, or you can play like the comping pattern that I was playing at the beginning, which is, uh, 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 which is just following the guitar. All right, so all that's just following the guitar. Um, so let's talk about the chords. So we're starting out on the four. So four to the two. And then we're gonna go to the six. And I'll play the six as like an, a minor nine chord, okay? And so we got that, four, two, six. And then there's this lick in the intro. Bum, 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 bum. So we hit six, seven, one. And then I'm playing like an F sharp minor 11. Okay. Uh, F sharp minor 11. And to make it easy, you can play it like this. F sharp minor triad in your left with an E major triad in your right. You can do that. Or you can just play it rootless and I think I like to play it like this, which is having some extensions in my left hand. I got like the ninth in my left hand. I think just, I just like this voice in a little bit more than, than this. So this is just a rootless version. I got the flat seven, nine, minor third, and five with the seven, nine, and 11 in my right for F sharp, okay? All right, so that is what we got going on for the um, for that lick. So bum, 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 six, seven, one, flat five chord, our F sharp, okay? And that's one, two, three, four, that's our sharp four, or the one, two, three, four, five, flat five. Sharp four, flat five, same thing, okay? Then we're going to the four. Oh, two, oh, to the one. Okay. And then we hit on the one. Dump, dump, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And they do like a walk up, which is just one, two, one over three. Okay. One, two, one over three. And then we're pretty much playing the same thing over again for the intro. So, from the top, oh, oh, oh two, oh, oh, six, oh, 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 lick, bum, 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 back to the four, oh, oh, no, 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 bum, 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 ba, da, ba, 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 da, ba, 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 and the same thing, oh. 
this. Dum bum 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 four two. All right, and that's pretty much the whole intro. Um, so what I will give you something else real quick, just because uh, what I like to do is kind of just play some passing chords in the intro, because uh, the chords is just the four, the two, and the six, right? So it's really simple chords uh, in the intro. So you can just fill up some of the space by adding some passing chords in there. Uh, not even essential, not necessary, but I do think it sounds good. So what we can do is four, one to the two, right? So what I like to do is four, Hit the sixth chord. And it's cool too, because you can use these passing chords in any song in C major, cool? So just giving you some extra chords in C major that you might not be used to playing. Four, six to the two. So that's pass. Four, pass to the two. And then where are we going next in our chord progression? We're going back to the six, right? Six minor. So what we can do is four, pass to the two. Pass, we can do a pass to the six. Right? So that's gonna be 